Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love. Now I'm sure you've heard of New York style pizza, deep dish pizza, but today we are making cloud pizza. And before we move on, guys, if you want to see more recipes just like this, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you have your post notifications turned on. Now, for those of you that are probably wondering, what is cloud pizza? So cloud pizza comes from cloud bread. It's a low carb substitute. It's actually really, really good um, to make like sandwiches or whatever the case. But today we're turning that recipe into our crust. Guys, I've already made it. It turned out amazing. And on top of it just being and tasting like real pizza, it is only 300 calories. So I'm gonna walk you step by step. I have everything in front of me and you guys are gonna be blown away. All right guys, so for our cloud bread pizza, you actually need all the same ingredients that you would typically top your, your pizza with. So if you like pepperoni, sausage, pineapple, whatever it is, you're gonna have those um, toppings. But for the crust, you will need egg whites. Now, you're not gonna be using liquid egg whites. So you're gonna use actual whole eggs. It's the only way this recipe will work, trust me. Been there, done that. I'm telling you from experience, you don't wanna waste your liquid egg whites. So this is basically what you do. So you're just gonna need four. And this is what is gonna give us the texture in our crust. So we are gonna add a little bit of arrowroot starch. If you have cream of tartar, you can also add that. You don't necessarily need it. What that usually does is just helps um, stabilize the egg whites. But because we're gonna do it quickly and get it right into the oven, you don't, you don't actually need it. Okay, so we're gonna set our eggs aside. Now with your egg yolks, you can make like panna cotta, you can make a mayo, there's different um, different things that you can make with your egg yolks. Set those aside. And now what we're gonna do is just whip on high. So the goal with our egg whites, it's to form stiff peaks. So this will take about, I would say, two to three minutes. And then I'll just show you what it should look like. But I'm sure you probably know what stiff peaks look like. We're about a minute in. So my egg whites were room temperature. So I think that that's the reason why they just whipped up so quickly. Okay, so this is how you know when they have formed stiff peaks, you can actually flip your bowl upside down and they're not gonna fall out. So this took about, I would say a little less than two minutes. I feel like it's because of the temperature of the egg. I feel like when they're really cold, it just takes a little longer to whip up, but uh, mine seem to have whipped up super quickly. So to season your crust. Remember, these are just egg whites, so you do wanna season it. So we have a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, and some Italian seasoning. So now we're just gonna go ahead and toss that right in. We're gonna give it another whip, so it doesn't really, you know, you can just toss it right in. And then this is some arrowroot powder. And now we're just gonna give it a mix. Now the arrowroot powder, what it does, it's gonna give it more structure because remember it is egg whites. So um, if you do just the egg whites alone, it'll turn out probably like, like an omelet and adding the arrowroot powder or arrowroot starch, it's gonna give it structure. So it's gonna act, you're actually gonna be able to like lay out your toppings and it's not gonna feel like you're just having egg. It actually doesn't taste like it at all. So let's give this a quick little mix. That you could probably mix it by hand, but I just wanted to make sure everything was well incorporated. Oh my gosh, guys, I almost forgot to add a little bit of salt and pepper. So um, remember, you do want your crust to be seasoned. Um, of course, if there's something that you don't like, then just omit it. This is really just gonna add more flavor to your pizza, that's all. So it'll still turn out, even if you don't season it, it'll still turn out, but don't you want it to be like delicious? So moving on, let's set our little toppings here to the side. We have like a little pizza pan. So I just put a little bit of parchment paper. One thing I didn't do last time that for sure we're doing this time is a little avocado oil spray because um, it kind of did stick to the parchment, which was weird because things usually don't stick onto parchment paper, but for some reason it did. Okay, so you just wanna make sure it is well coated and now you're just gonna toss your crust. This is like a little magical crust, guys, I'm telling you. You just want to pour it all out and then we are just going to smooth it out. 
just kind of make it as flat as possible or make it look as close to a pizza crust as you can. So just use a little baby spatula, spread it out. You can make it squared. I like it round. And this is like a large pizza. So there we are, guys. So I just spread it out to the best of my ability. And I'm pretty sure that you could top it now, but I like to cook my crust first. So we're gonna toss this baby into the oven. Just make sure that your oven is preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna put it in for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna show you what it should look like before we start topping it. All right guys, so while our pizza crust is in the oven, I wanna take a moment to give Seed a special thank you for sponsoring this part of the video. Now this is Seed's DS1 Symbiotic. It's a probiotic and prebiotic in one. It's actually a capsule within a capsule that makes it all the way down into your colon, feeds all the gut bacteria that needs to be fed down there. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but 70% of our immune system lives in our gut. Guys, I'm telling you, this is one of the reasons why Seed is always sold out. They have amazing reviews, a ton of testimonials on there. Um, you guys should definitely check them out. If you guys don't have a probiotic and prebiotic that you are absolutely obsessed with, I'm telling you, I highly recommend this. Right now, Seed is offering you a 15% discount on your entire order using Low Carb Love at checkout. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description below. Now let's go ahead and check on our crust and finish up with the toppings. All right guys, so this was a little over 10 minutes. Look at this beauty. So it's not gonna get golden brown, but you can tell it is done. It even started browning a little bit on the edges. Now it is ready for the toppings. Okay guys, so our crust is done. Let me show you how easy this lifts off of the parchment paper. That is why you want to make sure you do spray it with avocado oil. I made one batch where it was literally sticking on there. It was like a whole hot mess. And all I needed to do was spray some avocado. So that is the reason why you do it. Now we have our low sugar marinara sauce. Place that right in the center and then we spread. And I always like to leave a little room on the edges. And of course you can put as little or as much marinara as you want. If you like your pizza like super saucy, then just add a little more. Um, or you maybe like less sauce, more cheese, whatever the case is, this is all to personal preference. You're already gonna have a pizza that's super high in protein, super nutritious, and um, obviously super low in carbs and calories. Okay, so now we have a nice, pretty thin, it's a pretty thin layer, but I feel like it's enough for our large pizza. And now we're gonna top it with some light mozzarella cheese. Of course, guys, this is all personal preference. You can add your cheese of choice. Um, we just opted for the light version to keep it at the 300 calorie mark. But when you're making your pizza, you are gonna measure with your heart. Okay, that is, that is the rule when making pizza. So we have that. Now we're gonna top it with our pepperoni. This is also turkey pepperoni. And again, that is just to keep it lighter in fat and in um, calories. The carbs are the same, so that's not a big deal. So now we obviously went a little heavy on the pepperoni, but it's like, can you really ever have too much pepperoni on pizza? All right guys, so I have a tiny bit of mozzarella left and what I'm gonna do is just place it right over the pepperonis. Um, I just love when there's a tiny bit of cheese on top of the pepperoni because it gets kind of like crispy, you know? So that is it. And now this is going right back into the oven. Everything's already cooked. So at this point, you just want it to get nice and cheesy and melty. All right guys, so if you want a time for this, I would say about five to seven minutes. I'm gonna keep a close eye on it because I love for it to get nice and crispy. I cannot wait to show you the texture on this. All right guys, I left mine in a little extra longer. Look at this. What? This is perfect, OMG. I am so excited to dig into this. It looks perfect. Okay, so we have our pizza on our pizza board and we are gonna go ahead and cut right into this baby. Now, I have my chili flakes here because we are about that spicy life, but of course, that is completely optional. All right, guys, this looks so good. 
I've already taken our photo, so it has been sitting here for a little, and now it's gonna be perfect to eat because it was like piping hot when it first came out. And I'm just gonna throw a little bit of chili flakes. All right, guys, let's go do the taste test. Mm. This is unreal. Mm. It gets me every time because the crust is just perfect. Mm. So you're probably wondering like, what is the crust actually like? Like what's the texture? What's the taste? So I will say that it does not taste like egg whatsoever. So it doesn't give you an eggy taste. In terms of the texture, I would say the closest thing that it reminds me of is like a traditional uh, thin crust pizza. Like it holds well, it has like a good bite. It really, it just reminds me of regular pizza. So if someone gave me a piece to try, I would not think that it was made out of egg whites. Like it just seems like pizza. It just tastes like regular pizza. So if you love pizza and you're looking for a low carb option, that's not only low carb, but also low in calories, guys, you have to make this. I'm telling you, I'm going to go ahead and leave the recipe in the description below. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more recipes just like this. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.